The insanely high cost of groceries is forcing many of us to use other methods to avoid breaking the bank. Kelsey Kernstein is here with what people are using to help fight inflation at checkout. Kelsey? Hey, Mitch. So, yeah, a dozen of eggs cost $4 on average, which for some, that can send a grocery bill over the limit. So Americans are now using this buy now, pay later apps, which were once very big for purchases like electronics and furniture, to now pay for necessities like their groceries. But it's sending them into a deep hole of debt. Buy now, pay later apps like Affirm, Afterpay, and PayPal allow for more flexibility. Consumers have the option to quickly open an account without any impact on their credit score and then pay for goods in installments over the course of several weeks or months. Now, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that grocery prices have gone up by 8.4 percent this past year. And now one in five shoppers rely on these apps to buy groceries. That's 20 percent. Now, 27 percent of shoppers use the loans to get from paycheck to paycheck. Peter Dunn, the CEO of Your Money Line, says that Americans want instant gratification and they use buy now, pay later apps to make a purchase they can't afford. If you start to miss those payments, it has a similar feel to a credit card payment. It, it's, uh, it's sort of like a precursor to credit cards. For a lot of people who, who get caught up in this and, and get in a trap, it, it can be as damaging as payday loans in some respects. So Dunn suggests resetting your spending habits, add reminders on your calendar to make sure you make those payments so late fees do not pile up. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.